The Arkansas Supreme Court ruled on Monday that voters will not be allowed to weigh in on a ballot measure to expand medical marijuana in the state, arguing that the initiative failed to fully explain what it entails. In a 4-3 decision, sounds a little partisan, I'm not no, I'm not so sure, the justices threw out the initiative just two weeks before the election, according to the Associated Press. It is too late to remove the measure from the ballot as early voting began on Monday, so the court instructed election officials not to count any of the votes on the initiative. The proposed constitutional amendment would have expanded the definition of medical professionals who can certify patients for medical cannabis, adding qualified conditions and make medical cannabis cards valid for three years. The court ruled that the Arkansas Medical Marijuana Amendment of 2024 did not fully inform voters that it would have removed the authority of the state legislator, legislature to change the 2016 constitutional amendment that did legalize medical marijuana in the state. This decision doomed the proposed ballot title, and it is plainly misleading, just as Sean Womack wrote in the majority opinion. The court also said that the initiative did not inform voters that the amendment would legalize up to an ounce of marijuana possession for any purpose if marijuana were legalized at the federal level. Organizers of the initiative said in court filings that the ballot measure did cite the number of provisions that would be repealed and argued that the previous court ruling said measures did not need to summarize the current law that would be amended. Justice Cody Hillen said that in a dissent that the court was ignoring decade-long precedent by ruling the measure's language was misleading. Long ago, this court established definitive standards for evaluating the sufficiency of popular names and ballot titles. This court has not deviated from those standards until today. The court also rejected election officials' reasons for ruling the measure's organization or organizers fell short of the signatures needed for placing the measure on the ballot. Arkansas is for patient access. A group behind the measure said it would continue its push to expand the medical marijuana program and that the signatures it gathered displayed widespread support. We are deeply disappointed with the court's decision, the group said in a statement. It seems politics has trumped over legal precedent. The group filed a lawsuit after Arkansas Secretary of State John Thurston said it fell short of the signatures required to qualify for the ballot. The issue over the ballot measure's language was raised by Project Arkansas Kids a group that opposed the measure and intervened in the case on behalf of the kids. Thurston's office had refused to count some of the signatures submitted, claiming the group had not followed paperwork rules about paid signature gatherers. Earlier this year, the state rejected petitions submitted in favor of a pro-life ballot measure on similar grounds. And in July, the state said that the group had fallen short of the required signatures for the medical marijuana measure, but qualified for 30 additional days to circulate petitions. The state then told the group that any additional signatures gathered by paid signature gatherers would not be counted if required information was submitted by the canvassing company rather than the measure's sponsors. The court said Monday that the decision was wrong, arguing that the state law allows a wide range of people to be considered sponsors of the measure. Other groups have been campaigning against the measure, even as it was unclear whether it would be on the ballot next month. The Family Council Action Committee announced last week that it had planned to launch a statewide tour opposing the measure. A measure this bad simply has no business being on the on the ballot or in the Constitution, the committee's director, Jerry Cox, said after Monday's ruling. About half of U.S. states allow recreational marijuana and a dozen more have legalized medical marijuana. In November, voters in Florida, North Dakota, South Dakota will decide on whether to legalize recreational marijuana for adults, while two measures for medical marijuana will be on the ballots in Nebraska. So, rocky start to me reading this article, but we say weed for the people. We say we for the people. We say people for the people. We say people are not sheeple. And yet here we have another example of the judicial system being used to prevent people from so much as voting and being counted for what their opinion is. And to me, this sounds like a lot of fuckery by obstruction prohibitionists yet again. This is Yaro Kubrin, High at Nine News. I'd like to hear what the rest of you think and feel about this. It's what happens when you stack the court with conservative judges. I don't know about what all happens. that. I don't know about that. Well, they is, take this away is, the will is, of the people. Is, is, I don't like it. It and, goes uh, against my and, morals. And 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 those are not. Uh, the, they're 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 not true to form because they are not about freedom. And it just it, it just shows right there they're not about the freedom of choice for people to choose what they want to do. Glenn Youngkin too. Same thing. I think it's unfortunate. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, this notion that they can rip the rug out from underneath the voters and not have it be counted. Um, no, I mean, they I mean, they did they did a whole vote in South Dakota and then turned around and and didn't didn't even initiate it. It Genius. gives you know it gives gives the people a lot of faith in the electoral process. Yeah, it's right? not. Yeah, it's, this is this is. We not. already have a lot of people who aren't voting because they don't feel like their vote counts. So literally making their vote not count is definitely adding on to that. That's mm -hmm. ridiculous. A hundred percent what you just said. Exactly right. I'm totally all about all of that. Well, seeing as none, you guys have anything else to say? You got another super chat, buddy. 